I recently completed a crown molding project with a crown molding system produced by a Cana millwork. The system had your standard pieces of crown, long bits of molding, but it also had specially constructed inside and outside corners. The idea is that inside and outside corners are fairly difficult to cut well as an amateur, as a DIY, and they can look fairly messy. On the plus side, it took far less time to install this crown molding because I didn't have to spend time cutting cope joints and adding several layers of sandable material on the outside corners to make sure that they looked smooth. One of the advantages to this system is the material. I believe it's polyurethane. It's very light. I can just toss it up. It's flexible. And since I do all of my crown work alone, I don't have anyone else to hold up the long pieces, having this lightweight material was a real advantage. There were a couple of drawbacks, however. First off, what I typically do is I'll hold the piece up and I'll put in um, one nail here, one nail here, so that I can get it level. And then I'll go fill in the rest of the nails so I don't have to hold it up. When I'm working with wood, it's rigid and so it'll stay in place when I'm holding a long piece up against the wall. This, however, would bend down and it became really difficult for me to work solo with it. First off, the corners all had straight edges. So everything was a butt joint. And butt joints, at least for me, are a heck of a lot harder to hide and smooth with caulk and spackle. If I don't get the distance exactly right, if you're a sixteenth of an inch off, it's gonna create a pretty big and noticeable gap. With a scarf joint, it's much easier to hide that over if I don't get it within a sixteenth of an inch. I did try to create scarf joints by cutting through on this edge, but it was hard to get this right and I didn't end up with a 90 degree scarf joint. It would be an 87 degrees or 93 degrees, which involved a lot of additional work of trying to get the right cut to join into it. There were two main challenges with trying to cut in scarf joints here. The first is that the piece is so small, I couldn't get it right up against the guide rails of my miter saw. The second piece is that the entire profile here is irregular. So when I lay it down, it was pushing it a little bit angle as well. The end result, when I brought down the saw, the piece would push a little bit because it wasn't touching the guide rails fully and the lack of a flat surface just compounded that. Here's one example of an inside corner. You can see that the edges aren't particularly great here, and it makes for just as messy of a corner. Of course, when I pull away, you don't really see it, and it's generally okay, but I would have liked neater edges. In contrast, here's a scarf joint. It's not perfectly done, but it is a much tighter, neater join than that corner. If I were to use this product again, I wouldn't buy the corner pieces because the problem with butt joints and scarf joints I would just take the extra time to cut cope joints. With this material, it's so lightweight and thin, it's actually really easy to cut cope joints. The only drawback is that you have to be careful and cautious and slow. It's pretty easy to slip and cut a lot further than you'd like.